Okay, class. We're trying to uh, learn how to solve two-step equations. So on the whiteboard, I have a chant written out already. So two-step equations are not too hard. First, find the letter we're trying to solve. Then move the numbers to the same side. If we see a plus sign, we subtract. If we see a minus sign, we add. The final step is to multiply or divide. Make sure the letter is only one. Okay, so this chant is going to help us guide us through on how to solve this two-step equation, just like this one. So right here we have 2x plus 8 is equal to 16. So if we go back to the chant, first find the letter we're trying to solve. So the letter here is x. And what x is, is x is a variable. What that means is that x represents an unknown number. It could be a negative number, it could be a positive number, it could be zero, it could even be a fraction, any number. We're just trying to figure out what that number is. So once we know what we're trying to solve, if we see a plus sign, we subtract. So in the equation, we have plus 8 right here. So what we should do is subtract 8. But whatever we do on the left side of the equation, we have to do to the right side of the equation to make sure everything is balanced out. Right. So we have 8 minus 8 which is equal to zero, and you just cross that out. Hmm. And then right here, we have 16 minus eight. Eight. So eight. Great answer, Paul. So right here, if you want to write out the zero, sometimes make it clear for some people. For me, it helps to clear my mind out. Why is so it not 24? 24 is if we do 16 plus eight. And then you get 24. This, this right here, we're subtracting. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, you do the opposite of what's in the original equation. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Yeah, no problem. So right here, I'll just write this out. So 16 minus 8 is 8. So we end up with this. Is everything clear? Does anyone have any questions? What do we do with the 0? Zero? 0? You can, you can erase it. 0 does nothing. If you have 5 pieces of pi and you have 0 pi, you still have 5 pieces of pi. Does that make sense? No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> OK, so now we're just left with 2x plus 8. So right here, the final step is the multiplier divide. But we need to make sure the letter is only 1. So if we have a 2 here, but well, we want to make it 1, whoops, sorry. If we want to make it 1x, what we need to do is divide everything by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if we do 8 divided by 2 over here, you just get 4. And the 1 here, Interesting. You, can, you can ignore because it doesn't change anything. So the final answer that we should have is x minus 4. Oh, x is equal to, I see. X is equal to 4. Yes. I might have misspoke. Thank you for correcting me. So, now for another example that I want you guys to try on your own is this. So, we can try and do this. I want to see what you guys have thoughts on how to solve this one first. One third x minus six is equal to two. I'll give everyone some time to think through it, and then we'll gather in about a minute, and then uh, I'll walk through how to solve the problem. 